Well, we're going to continue on with our weighted average problems. And now we're going to look at some uniform motion problems. And specifically, we're going to look at uh, right now the speed of one vehicle. But before we get into the problem itself, our basic formula for determining speed or rate is rate equals distance over time. So we got R equals D over T, where R equals the rate or the speed, distance, D equals the distance, and T equals the time. And one of the good things about formulas is depending on what it is that we need to solve, we can manipulate or change the formula to fit uh, whatever it is that we're looking to solve. In fact, if I were looking to solve for distance, well, D is equal to the rate times the time. Going from this basic formula right here, rate equals D over T. If I'm looking to find distance, it's just RT equals D. And if I'm looking to find time, if I know what distance is and I know what the rate of speed is, then I can determine the amount of time it took by taking the distance and dividing it by the rate or the speed. Now, let's get into this problem itself. So we've got an airplane that flies at 750 miles, they go 750 miles, that's a distance, in one and a half hours, well that's a time, that's a time factor, and then it goes another 750 miles south, well that's also distance, and it goes south and it travels for two hours, well that's time. And we're asked to find the average rate of speed, or R, for the airplane. Now, since we are traveling in two different directions, it's not quite as simple as what our formula shows here, in that what we're gonna to need to do is add our two distances together over the two quantities of time we have been given and then divide by that amount. So let me show you what we're talking about. So we're asked to find what the average speed is or the rate, and we've gone 750 miles west plus we travel 750 miles south, I believe it is, up south, and we put all that over. Well, when it was traveling west, it was going one and a half, I traveled west for one and a half hours. I'm gonna put 1.5, that's the same as one and a half hours. And when it was traveling south for 750 miles, well, it traveled for an amount of time of two hours, all right? So I can now go that 750 plus 750 is 1500. Total, it traveled a total of 1500 miles and one and a half and two gives me three and a half. So it traveled 1500 miles, total of 1500 miles and a total of three and a half hours. And when I just simply divide 1500 by this um, three and a half hours, I get an answer of 428.6. And depending on how it asked me the problem, it said, what is the average speed of the airplane? It didn't tell me the number of digits or decimal points that I could use. Well, I could just actually just round this up, and I think I will, to 420 miles per hour. In other words, this, 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 is, this is miles and this is hours. And so we traveled 429 miles per hour. That was the rate of rate and average speed of this airplane. Well, let's look at one more. In fact, this time, even though it says the speed of one vehicle, we're actually, this time the vehicle is on foot. Because we have a problem here that says that Austin jogged two and a half miles in 16 minutes, and then he walked one mile in 10 minutes. What was his average speed? So we're just going to use the basic formula, which is rate equals distance over time. But we've got two measurements that we've got to contend with. But we got rate equals now let's see, he jogged two and a half miles. Well, that's a distance. 
let's put in here the two and a half. I did it in 16 minutes. Well, that's time. So we got 16 minutes. And then he walked one mile. Well, that's a distance. So we got two and a half now plus one. And he did that in 10 minutes, which is also time. So we go plus 10. So we just add these two together. So we got two and a half plus one equals three and a half. And we got 26 minutes plus 10. I mean, excuse me, 16 minutes plus 10 equals 26 minutes. Getting ahead of myself. And to find his average speed, we just divide this three and a half by 26. And when we do, we will come up with an answer of 0 0.13. Now, 0 0.13 what? Because when we're dealing with formulas, we're dealing also with units of measurement. Well, in our numerator, I mean, yeah, numerator, we had miles. So 0.13 miles, but in our denominator, we had minutes. So it is 0 0.13 miles per minute. All right, there we go. Speed of one vehicle. Well, as has become the pattern here of late, we got a problem for you. Speed of one vehicle. So we've got a boat that tra has traveled 16 miles due north in two hours. And then it goes due west for 24 miles in two hours. What is the average speed of the boat? We'll give you just a moment to make sure you've got the problem written down. If you're online, reply, comment with your answer. If we're in class, just know, you never know when I'm gonna call on you for the answer. So get to work. All right, by now you should have it. Happy solving.